Today's technology has led us to uh, internet sites, uh, which is it's great for research and stuff, but not nearly the best for uh, coming up with tools quickly. The first uh, thing people find themselves is on internet auction sites. eBay is probably the most popular of all. Uh, the problem you have with the internet sites is you don't have the ability to look at the tool while you're handling it. We purchased a large joiner plane not too long ago. The dealer sent us all kind of pictures of the plane. When it actually did arrive, and it was a great deal, the plane was actually damaged. Uh, there are a lot of dealers that we'll have at the end of this resource, uh, end of this video for the resources, that uh, are private sellers on the internet that have a good reputation. Uh, we've worked with them for years uh, within our business and such, and they're very knowledgeable. Now, not saying that there isn't bad deals there to be had, uh, not saying there isn't good dealers to be had. I'm just telling you that, like any auction, it's the buyer beware, and you're doing it from afar. The second place most people find them is usually antique stores. Um, I hate to use the term flea market uh, because today the antique store seems to be on a big rise. It's a, mostly it's been an old mall or a grocery store. They converted into a booth sale type aspect to where you know, each booth tends to have a, like a, a theme if you want. Uh, and you'll find in, in an average um, you know, antique mall, you'll find four or five dealers in there that are pretty well stocked with tools. And it's obvious to, to me, most of the dealers have some understanding of what their tools are and such. And I do find deals quite often. Um, after the, the auction sites and the antiques, uh, actually direct sale auctions are probably the most common. Um, somebody dies that was a cabinet maker or somebody's moving to Florida to retire and such and they want to get rid of their tools. Um, like eBay, uh, it's pretty much the highest bid takes it without a problem. And, uh, but the nice thing about the auctions is you're right there looking at the tool, but you're also right there looking at the bidders against you. <laughs> uh, it can be a bit of a sociology test uh, as you're going through it to decide whether or not your ego can handle your wallet. Um, auctions, sometimes you get people get a little fired up, they want a tool, and your budget kind of goes the wayside. So it's always nice to go with somebody who tempers you. <laughs> After that, uh, pretty much garage sales. Um, once again, it's an urban thing. Uh, you do find country garage sales to some degree, but not with the frequency you find in the urban areas. Uh, but you have to kind of look at the town and figure it out. Uh, if you go into the more uh, established parts of the city, for the most part, uh, and in retirees and things of this nature, people paring their lives down, looking to get rid of uh, some of their, what they consider to be baggage in their older years, uh, you can get stuff quite reasonable. So. Uh, those are your, your, your big basic areas you're going to find these tools at. All right, let's talk a little bit about, about prices, where we're going to be with this. Uh, one of my good uses for such as eBay is if we were to take this brace right here and I were to type in its uh, model number into eBay and come up and see with the last couple of months what these were selling for, on average you'll find they're about $15 for a brace. Um, now, that not taking into account its different size, its ratchet, all the different either secrecies it is a brace, average they're probably going about $15. It's because there's so many of them and they really don't wear out to speak of at any great rate and there's just, they, they last. So because of the amount of volume out there, the few of them that are actually being used for real, the price is rather cheap. But a lot of people, a lot of sellers who will look on eBay and they'll see the price went from 15 to 60 because a collector item went off at 60. So they figure they price it at about $45 and see if you're willing to bite. You have to be prepared to walk away. And to be able to walk away, you have to have knowledge. Do a, just a little bit of reading, just a little bit of research, and you can become quite familiar and be able to spot lemons real quick. Uh, but you have to be able to look at it and say, look, Average brace is going out there for $15, $20. That's going to be my budget. Um, but the biggest thing is once you've got them, use them, you know, learn how to use them, build a skill, and move on from that point. Uh, the biggest problem you're going to find most of you as soon as you start enjoying them is you, you know, the more tools you have, the more problems you can face. Uh, I'm a big tool guy because we, we always seem to face a lot of problems, and having the tools just makes it easy for us.